Good morning, sixth graders. Today's lesson is 12.4. Histograms, our essential question, how can you use histograms to display data? When there's a large number of data values, it is helpful to group the data into intervals. A histogram is a bar graph that shows frequency of data in intervals. Unlike a bar graph, there are no gaps between the bars in a histogram. Let's unlock the problem. The histogram shows the ages of winners of the Academy Awards for Best Actor from 1990 to 2009. How many winners were under 40 years old? So interpreting the Instagram or the histogram. The height of each bar shows how many data values are in an interval the bar represents. So the frequency is one, the frequency of this one was six, the frequency of this one was eight, this one was three, that one was two. And the ages are down here. So between 20 and 29 years old, between 30 and 39 years old, between 40 and 49 years old, between 50 and 59 years old, between 60 and 69 years old. So how many winners were between 20 and 29 years old? So here's 20 to 29 years old, and it looks like there was only one. Which other bar represents people under 40? Well, this one also represents people under 40. So 30 through 39. How many winners were between 30 through 39? Well, I'm going to follow this up, and it looks like it was six. The next one says to find the total number of winners who were under 40 years old, Add the frequencies for the intervals of 20 through 29 and 30 through 39. So there was one here and six here. So we're gonna add those together. One plus six equals seven. So seven of the winners were under 40 years old. Explain whether it is possible to know from the histogram if any winner was 37 years old. No, because the histogram does not show individual data values. It shows the intervals or the ranges. Example, the table shows the ages of winners of the Academy Award for Best Actress from 1986 to 2009. How many of the winners were under 40 years old? So here's our best actresses, and we need to find out how many were under 40 years old. So let's make a histogram. Step one is to make a frequency table using intervals of 10. So 20 through 29 years, 30 through 39, 40 through 49, and so on. So they've already found all of the frequencies that were 20 through 29. So now let's circle the ones that are from 30 through 39. So we've got, I'm going to do a different color here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There were 10. And then let's do the next one in a different color. So now we're doing 40 through 49. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There were none 50 through 59. So let's do 60 through 69. So we've got 1. Looks like just 1. 70 through 79. There are none. And then there's only 1. That's 80 through 89. Step 2. Set up the intervals along the horizontal axis of the graph. Remember horizontal is this way, just like the horizon. So the intervals must be all the same size. In this case, every 10 years. The intervals are every 10 years. So we've set those up along the bottom. Write a scale for the frequency on the vertical axis. So the vertical axis is this way. So there's our frequency going this way. Our age is this way. Vertical is the other way. Step three is to graph the number of winners in each interval. So they've already graphed the 20 through 29, the 30 through 39, the 40 through 49. So 50 through 59, there was none, so we're going to leave that blank. 60 through 69, there was only one, so we're going to kind of go halfway in between the 0 and the 2. 70 through 79, there were none. 80 through 
89. Again, there was 1, so we're going to go halfway in between the 0 and the 2. Next, it has to give the graph a title and label the axes. So you can see that they did the title here, Ages of the Best Actress Winner. They labeled frequency. They labeled ages. And we've already completed the intervals for these. Now to find the number of winners who were under 40 years old. So that means we are looking right here, under 40 years old. So we need to take the 20 through 29, which was seven. We need to take the 30 through 39, which was 10, and add them together. Seven plus 10 is 17. So 17 of the winners were under 40 years old. Explain how you can tell from the histogram which age group has the most winners. So the group with the most winners is represented by the tallest bar, and that would be the 30 through 39. So if we look right here, the tallest bar is right here. It's the 30 through 39. It has 10 members. Complete the frequency table for the age data in the table on the right. So here's my table on the right, my frequency. So now I'm going to complete the chart. So 10 through 19, they said there's two. So we've got 10 through 19, so there's 19, there's 18, so there's our two. So now we're looking for ages 20 through 29. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it looks like there are 6. Let's do 30 through 39. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let's do... 40 through 49, one, two. There were two of them. So next they want us to complete the histogram. So 10 through 90, so let's go ahead and let's label this out. So we're gonna do 10 through 19 is gonna be here, 20 through 29, 30 through 39, and 40 through 49. So we have two 10 through 19s, so that means that my bar is going to go up here to the 2. I'm going to color it in. Then we have 6 20 through 29s. So that means my bar is going to go all the way up here to the 6. Let's color it in. The next one is 30 through 39s, and I've got 5. So that means my bar is going to go up here to the 5. I'm going to color it in. And then finally, 40 through 49, it's 2. So my bar is only going to go up to here. I'm going to color it in. Now it says, use your histogram to find the number of people at the health club who are 30 or older. So if I'm looking here, 30 or older, that would be this group and this group. So that means I'm going to combine the 5 plus the 2, and I'm going to get 7. So 7 people are older than 30. Okay, last but not least, use your histogram to determine the percent of people at the health club who are 20 to 29 years old. So here's my 20 to 29 years old. I go up to the top of it and it is six. So the answer is six people. Now they want to know a percent. So I have six people and I need to get a percent. That means I need to find out how many there were total. Well, total there was two plus six, which is eight, plus five is 13, plus two, which is 15. So that means they, inter they interviewed 15 people total. So if I take six people and I divide it by the total 15, then I'm gonna get the percent. So let's do this math. So this is saying 6 divide, whoops, divided by 15. So 15 can't go into 6. I'm going to put my decimal, put my 0, bring it up to the top. 15 does go into 6. It goes in 4 times. And 4 times 15 is 60. I subtract, I get 0. Now since this is a percent, I need to be over 2 decimals. So I'm going to add another 0. Of course, it goes in zero times. So it's going to be 40%. So the percent of people at the health club that were 20 to 29 years old is 40% of the people.
Okay, so now you are going to do your Jamboard and your Think Central. And if you need my help, I will be on the carpet as always. Good luck.